Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very artistic tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to see something a little bit different but I'm sure you guys are going to find a way to add this to your daily mining routine. So whether that is going to be adding these kind of images to your uh, reports uh, or you can add this to your presentations or you can add them in your website maybe and I've seen a lot of people making cool maps as part of a 30 days map challenge which I'm not sure what it is all about but you can make this part of that challenge and try to grow your network as um, not an artist of course or yeah by the way I've seen some websites selling these kind of uh, kinds of images so maybe that's something that you can do but we don't care about that I'm just here to show you how you can do this for free and it's not gonna take you more than three minutes that's the cool part of this so if you're interested in making these cool maps watch this full video Okay, so now how can we create this cool app? For that we will need two things. The first one is a DEM. I know that a lot of you know what is a DEM, but I got some questions, people asking me what is a DEM? It's basically a digital elevation model. That's, you know, um, that's a topography. That's the simplest way to explain that, but it is a raster topography. It's not like different contours, vector contours, but it's a raster in which you have an elevation value in each one of the pixels. So it's basically a topography. And you can use this in uh, um, GIS softwares like QGIS, and you can generate contours from these, and you can, in some uh, modeling softwares you can import these uh, uh, ready to use as topographies so that's a DEM and how can you get one of these well I've covered a really cool tutorial in which you can create a web application in Python yeah you don't have to worry you don't have to be uh, a web developer to create this one it's really simple even if you don't know uh, programming following this tutorial is going to be really easy for you to create your own web application. It is this tutorial and I'm going to try to show the link in here. So um, you follow that video, it's going to allow you to create a, a simple web application that allows you to download uh, DM for any location that you want and you can clip that on the fly. So you can use this to generate uh, multiple uh, maps without like going to you know to different websites and trying to create accounts and log in and d download and you know you look at the data and choose what is the data that you want and so on so you don't have to worry about that anymore make sure to follow this video now once you have a digital elevation model the next thing that you will need is to download this amazing software it's a free software and it's like, I think it's one megabyte. It's a two me almost uh, two megabytes, which is like uh, very, very uh, small sized. And you can download this with just one click and you don't have to sign up or anything like that. I will leave the link to this um, uh, software um, below. And it's an open source software. It is free, so you don't have to worry about anything um, you know any licenses or anything like that so once you download the software you don't have to install it also which is another cool thing so you can just go and double click and the software is going to be ready for you to use and right away you can see that we have a 3d window and we all know what is a, a 3d window and why do we use it because i'm supposed that you guys are familiar with mining packages and this is basically to display any 3D objects that we have. Okay, then you can see that we have two different um, tabs, uh, if that's the right way to call them. Yeah, by the way, it's called A Area Load, and it's from uh, F Tracy. F Tracy, that's the right name, and um, it's 
Um, it's I think it's a company or they are just a bunch of people making some really cool 3D packages and they have another one to create like voxels. I didn't try that, but I was interested in this one because you can create some really cool maps with this one and uh, it's something that we might need in this uh, industry. So um, let's go and get started. So this is the first 3D shape that you have once you create, once you launch the software. But then if you want to import your own DEM, all you have to do is to go to this one, this menu in here, or you can click on all to have all of these uh, different uh, options, um, you know, stacked in here. And then uh, you don't have to worry about the options. I don't know how to use uh, like most of these, but if you play around with these, you will have like something visually, um, something you know, something uh, changes visually in the 3D when you um, window, and you will know what that option is actually doing without knowing what is the that thing exactly because most of these like are related to photography and uh, 3D software so you don't have to be an expert to create some cool maps. So let's go and change this one. I'm gonna go for this um, Santa Monica uh, Mountains uh, DM and I think you get these by default inside the map uh, uh, folder that you get when you install or when you download the software because we didn't install anything and click on open and right away you have a really cool looking 3D map and you can see the bar in here it's rendering that so you can wait for this uh, to reach the end to get like um, the full uh, render and I can something I've noticed is that you can change the size of the image so I will go for full HD which is um, 1920 by 1080 and you can see that I've changed the resolution you can go and play around with the resolution maybe you have like you want a bigger image or a smaller one and you can do whatever you want and you can see if we zoom in they're basically a bunch of voxels which is a cool thing and uh, it's you know you're making um, you're voxelizing that uh, area of interest which is an artistic way of uh, displaying these uh, you know maps and I really like that and you can play around with the scale so for example let's say that I want to do some um, exaggeration on the elevation you can do that and you can see that I make this one uh, a little bit higher and maybe this is something that you want to do or I can offset this one with uh, you can see maybe this you want it to be a little bit higher there and uh, like I've mentioned that, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but you can export this to, maybe you're interested in uh, making this like a printable model and one of the extensions supported by 3D printers, I think, is the .ply extension, which is a known 3D format like .obg or uh, for us in the industry .dxf for wireframes but this is a really known format so maybe you want to make these cool models and uh, you just uh, put them there in your house or maybe you want to make a business out of this someone gives you the location you go to that web app that you've created you download the DEMs for that location and create this one, do a 3D printing and then you can ship that to any location on earth and make some money from that and that's a business. So thank me later, you don't have to worry about being broke anymore. Um, okay, so you got the school map, so let me go and um, I don't like the offset to be this high, so maybe I'm gonna make it five. Five is good and I don't want this exaggeration I'm gonna make it maybe like uh, two two is okay and or maybe a little bit less maybe one so I want that the real scale to be there and another way here you can see that let's start play around with some of these so this is what the option is doing um, so you can see that it starts to um, you know, you get an idea about how this works. So you need to leave it a little bit to render, but it's not changing a lot of things. And um, 
Yeah, but uh, these are basically for the lenses, as if you're having a camera and you're looking at this map, how you want that to be rendered out. But then what I like about this is like you can play around with the exposure. And this option here is also cool. You can just make, um, you know, like change the, diff the focus or if that's the right way to call it. And maybe we want to make the color of this one a little bit bluish, like you've seen in the first image that I've shared, or green. So, uh, okay. And if we go to all in here, maybe we want to have a sun. And um, we can go and change the intensity of the sun. By the way, if you look up, I think you will be able to see a sun. I can change this to perspective. And that's how I like it. So you can see now that we have like some sort of a sky. We can change the sky color to maybe this bluish color. And you can see, and that's going to reflect in here this a little bit. So maybe you can make this gray or something with a reflection of the sky. It's going to be cool. And you can see you just need to play around with this one. It's not really that hard to use. And um, so we can go. You can see also we have like this fog. So you make it like um, you add some fog to the scene, which is might be a cool thing that you want to add. And it's an artistic thing. Again, you can change the color of the fog if you want so. And... Um, yeah, and uh, another thing is I've seen that you can change, which is this one, I believe. You can change the direction of the um, the sun. So you can see that the shadows are a little bit more to the side now. And the, the, the one, the, the 3D uh, map now looks really cool for me. And maybe we can change this angle also if we want that and um, yeah and then you can choose whatever orientation that you want so uh, one way to do that is you click on this one it's it makes things easier and you can rotate this one maybe move it a little bit yeah uh, make it just in the middle in there and wait for this one to render and you will have like this really cool map and you can see that it took us like I don't know like two or three minutes and we still have like a lot of things to change and you can see that we can add a background you can go and add a background here uh, the color is set to black I think transparent background and you can change this color to red I'm not sure how this one works but yeah uh, you can guys go and play around with this one and let me know in the comments below you can share your images or uh, if you've seen this on LinkedIn, which probably you did. So make sure to create something and please post it in the comments below so I can see it and I give you um, my feedback if, it's, if I think it is cool or not. And make sure also to put in the location and share that part of that 30 days uh, map uh, challenge and if you can tag me on that it will be a cool thing so I can comment on your image so that's gonna give you more exposures uh, more exposure because of my followers and that's a win-win for both of us so um, that's simple for this tutorial I hope it was a cool one a short one and you've learned something artistic today so with that being said don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and see you in the next one He's the mining geologist Here to show you all the things That you might have missed He's got plenty of software tips And tricks for your geoscience lives So get your fix of mineral exploration And mining engineering information And check the links, leave a like And please subscribe